What's going on, everyone? Welcome back. I hope everybody's having a great day. All right, guys, I got an interesting one for you guys. Um, a lot of times we have forgotten, or at least a lot of people have forgotten about the Spirit Rover and how it basically ended. Here it is right here. NASA gives up on stuck Mars Rover Spirit. All right, so if you look at the, the date here, it goes back May 24th, 2011, right? It says planned communication will be done on May 25th, but there are there may be some passive communication attempts after that. <laughs> I love the way they put this right here. Memorial service. Spirit's final troubles began in April 2009 when it got stuck in a patch of Martian sand. Engineers worked for eight months attempting to free the rover, but to no avail. In its stationary position, Spirit's solar panels uh, weren't able to tilt toward the sun, and so it lost power during the winter of 2009 and 2010. When Spirit lost power, its internal temperature plunged to minus 67 degrees Fahrenheit, the coldest it had ever experienced, and has likely sustained electronic damage that prevented it from powering back up last spring. Okay, do I believe it got stuck? Yes. But in the sand, yes and no. Let me explain. This is the photo we're going to be looking at right here. This is what really puzzled me. I'm looking at this area right here of the wheel, okay? Just so we can get a better look at these, you can see the arms. There's nothing on them, just basically the arm and the, the actual wires and a harness that goes to the electric motor. Each of these wheels have, a, have an electric motor, just like the Curiosity rover, right? All right, so Spirit was solar panel. Um, and you can see there's nothing else there but the wheel. Okay, so this is what I had a question about. Why does it look like there's something on top of this wheel? I'm going to go ahead and zoom in a little bit. Right here. You can see that. What is that? And is something white there? You may say, well, there's nothing really there. Well, I'm going to bring this a whole lot closer. And there's so many more things, guys, that are being hidden in this photo. It will surprise you. Okay. So I was looking at the wheel itself. And check this out. What does that? Goes over to here. But check this out. It has right here. It's doing this, this. And it's kind of like they try to blend this thing in. But whatever this thing is, has this piece going across here. Going like this. Going all the way down. And then it does the same. Wait a minute. There's nothing on this. This is just a wheel. This is the wheel buried. It would be something similar to this. Or, of course, it would be deeper than that. But anyway, let's, let's do this. The wheel would be like this here. Of course, it's not round, of course. But it doesn't matter. You guys get the idea. So the wheel is there. But what is this on top? What is this crap here? Something's there. And you can see a little bit of white there, a little bit of white here, and a little bit of white in here and here. And we're going to enhance that a whole lot better. Now, let's have a closer look at this thing. Okay. All of a sudden, as I burn this stuff away, the, this crap, you can see, see this mush right here? Right here. You can see where they really, really fudged it out to get rid of, to actually blend this in. But once you burn this away, you can actually see the actual details and stuff to it. All right, so what is this right here? Okay, there's something here, and it's on top of the, the rover, or it's part of something that may be going into the ground? What could that possibly be? Whatever that is, you can see whatever it is right here. It's like, wait a minute, there's nothing down here but the arm of the rover, and you can see it right here. Going down like this. You can see the harness going like this. This, the motor is actually inside where the arm is. Of course, it's buried. We can't see it, right? But what is this crap right here? What is this? Look at this. Enhance a little bit. It actually has something that's that actually got jammed in this wheel. I believe that's what stopped it. Now, let's, let's suppose for a moment that this thing is not just sticking out of the ground or just on top of the ground, but it's actually in the ground, too. What would happen if this rover came along, got stuck into it, and then they try to get out after the fact, and because it's soft sand, it buried itself in the sand? Good possibility, right? Now, that's not the only thing that's here. All these rocks, supposed rocks, are not what you think they are. This item over here, now I did this video a long time ago, and it almost looked like, for better lack of a better word, a freaking car sitting right there. All I do is just enhance the whiter areas. See it? That's all I did to it. You can see the black line running right here, going like this. On the side, it's doing this. It looks like, and I was, I always said it looked like windows of some sort, some weird goofy thing, right? But that's all I did to it. But now, check these things out. See how this looks like mush right here? I don't think these wheel mocks are actually true at all. Look at this. I think because they're fudged. Look at this thing. Here's another anomaly. Let's go back to the original. 
what is this? This is what I mean, guys. You got to look for the actual lines so it shows the shape of the object, right? Check this out. You can see this thing stops here, goes like this, and you can see it on the top also does this. See that? There's something else there, and whatever it is has a lighter, brighter area, like they didn't take the whole thing out, and there you go. How about this area? People say, well, it's a low-res photo, and it is. There's no doubt about it, it is. But here's the thing. Why do I see a lot more detail up here than I do here? Why? Because it's being fudged, and that's what people need to understand. Now, let's jump over to a couple more pieces that are in here, and then I'm going to go ahead and just enhance this thing totally. This object right here. Check this out. There's other items sitting right here. See how this white piece is right here? This right here. This is the piece you need to concentrate on. Sticking out of, this is all white, all this area right here. You can see this, this whole area is white. This whole thing, I'm, I'm almost positive, goes all the way back. But what the hell is it, guys? This is what I'm saying. This thing, again, has these weird features on it. See that? Okay. These these items, it's crazy what's, what's in these photos. The biggest part is all of this, what I said was blurred out. Look at this. This whole area has something in it. Now, let me show you what I'm talking about because just to give you guys an idea of what's being hidden here, right here. You can see what looks like this kind of zigzagged, like dragged out zigzag kind of shape right here, right? It, it kind of goes across, goes down, and then goes across. All right. Now I'm going to just show you the whole enhanced photo. Okay. There's no way that this rover came from this direction. There's something hiding right here. You can see lighter color, lighter color right here, whatever this is. And whatever this thing is I just showed you, it had that zigzag kind of look to it. Guys, I'm going to tell you right out my honest opinion. This is only my opinion. I think this rover probably running in autonomous mode, and somehow it got jammed. It got it got jammed up in a bunch of debris. That's just my opinion. I'm not saying everybody else has to follow that. I'm saying, judging by what I'm seeing in these photos and these things laying on the ground, there's something actually right here too. Right here. And you can just see the fudging. Look at this. Look how look how like incredibly blurry that is. Okay. And then you got decent. See how like this decent detail right here, and all of a sudden complete blur. Listen. A a low res photo is one thing, but tampering is another. Uh, it's a total different ball game altogether, right? Check this out. Right there. These items sitting right here. I mean, guys, they're there. This is the anomaly right here, the white pot. Now, let's go back and look at the original. See that? Burn it away. And this, All this crap here, and you can get most of it away, right? Here's another thing I want you guys to take note on. This is a black and white photo, right? Oh, it's not. Let's have a look. The file, well, let's go to image. What mode is it? Oh, look at this. It's RGB. The three colors, red, green, and blue. That's what you need for a standard photo, right? What is that all about? Right. Let's have a look at over here because I want you guys to see this. This is pretty This is pretty funky too. In this wheel, people say, well, it's just dirt. And I would agree. If I just took a quick glance at it, it's just dirt. What I'm looking at is these two little white dots where they looks like they totally screwed up and didn't completely block this. Check that. See that right there? There's like a little circle. Then there's something that goes like this. What well, looks like have these little lines coming up. Okay. So check this out. You can see where they messed up right there and did not take it out. Why is it in color? All I did was use the burn tool. It should be burning in black and white. It shouldn't matter. In other words, it should either get darker, and then, then I'll use my, uh, my dodge tool. So if anything has a white signature, I can simply just, just you know, go over it, and anything that's white or lighter will pop out, right? So here's your electric motor. And actually, you know, so it changes direction so on and so forth. But why? You get something right at the top here. You can see the shadow of whatever it is, probably the deck of the rover. Um, and you get shadowing coming down this way. Okay. Pretty easy, right? This is what's crazy. 
right here there's a shadow it's coming off the rover here's the ground itself here's what looks like dirt inside the wheel but wait a minute why is it different color compared to the actual shadow or the ground here do you see that see the difference in it why is that you can actually see the difference right there there's something hidden inside this wheel too i think it got jammed in a bunch of um you know ruins or something on the ground it got tangled up in again if this thing was just kind of moving right along come on six wheels even in soft even in soft uh, uh dirt you should be able to still get right through it because let's suppose this is super soft here okay and this side isn't quite as bad well then the other three wheels ought to help pull it out right one way or the other six wheel drive you ought to not get caught in that so my guess is something it ran into this as is let's say let's suppose for a moment it came from this direction which i don't i, I find hard to believe because this here unless they made a, a bigger manipulation obfuscation but you can see where it goes like this the line of their manipulation goes all the way like this well wait a minute if the wheel mark goes back this way and goes off this thing's in the way so what direction did this thing really come from that's another question to think about okay so i think what happened was this thing's just driving along all of a sudden it gets hung up on whatever the hell this is and it gets locked into it this thing may again this thing here maybe maybe stuck in the ground somehow this thing got jammed into it it might have rolled over it and then when it tried to go backwards it got caught in it and this is the reason why you're seeing what you're seeing also what is this stuff right here it's like there's something else that got stuck on the wheel what is it that's the whole key i think this is the reason why this rover got stuck i believe it is stuck but this is the reason why it got stuck not because it's just simple sand it had to take more than that to, to stop a six wheel uh vehicle moving right we've got this thing too this item right here now see that right there it's got some weird looking funky little square piece this piece is like kind of rounded like this here what is that is it a rock good possibility funky looking rock but look at the way that thing is shaped right okay i believe this rover ran into a debris field and it got stuck that way not because it's just simple soft sand anyway guys i'm not going to take too much more of your time i just want to let you know what i think about this thing you guys can drop a comment let me know what you think is going on what really happened to that rover you guys guess is as good as mine anyway guys have yourself a good one and we'll see you in the next one